Welcome, Amorosa. Thank you for coming on tonight. I've been following this story and all the interviews you've done, so I want to get to some stories that just questions get to me. You seemed to have suspected when you heard that Donald Trump had used the N-word, had made racially derogatory uh, things back when he was filming, in fact, the first year of The Prentice. What made you think they might be true? Well, I didn't discover it until the fall of uh, the campaign in 2016 when a producer, Bill Pruitt, came out and he tweeted that Donald Trump had said some very horrible things, including some racist things and some things about Jewish people. Yeah. And that was the first time we became aware of it on the campaign. And in fact, we had a meeting, Jason Miller, Lynn Patton and Katrina Campins. Right. We had a conference call and we talked about what we would do. In fact, Katrina Pearson said that she thought he actually said it. That was his campaign spokesperson. Did you, when you first heard that story by Bill Pruitt and the others, uh, and th the confirmation by her, did, did you go, oh, is that the guy I know? What was your sort of emotional reaction to that as an African-American woman? My first reaction to it was, it was just, this can't be true. This is somebody I've known since 2003. He had always been kind to me, as I said, repeatedly in, in tons and dozens of interviews. And so when I heard it, my first instinct was to protect him and not to dive deeper because I just dismissed yeah. it as untrue. Well, you did eventually dive deeper. Even after publication of the book, you went out and you actually heard the tape. I did. When you heard the tape, uh, did you get a sense that the person, I know you don't want to give away the source, that the person who has the tape or a, a, a copy of it is planning to use it at some point? Yes. In fact, I believe that they're using it for politically motivated things. In fact, they may... Before November? Before November. Another Are they October Democrats? Surprise. I don't know what their political... You don't know? You don't know what they're moderate that Republicans they Right. They used to be a part of the production staff for The Apprentice, and uh, they saw it on the, took it on themselves to actually document this so that they could actually mm. expose him for the races that he is. They have a copy, you said, of the tape. They do, of the audio. When you listen to the parts you heard, did, how many times did you hear Mr. Trump, your former boss, how many times did you hear him use the N-word? multiple times and what's upsetting, Multi I mean like upsetting, five or ten or what it was three minutes multiple times and what's upsetting about it is it was about someone that was on the cast with me about Kwame Jackson who was the African-American contestant male contestant it was about him on the first season of The Apprentice From and Detroit. that's why it was disturb it was so disturbing. was it the kind of derogatory sort of uh, the stuff and it some of it, I'm older than you grew up with some of the bad stuff was it like was there like derogatory references to him it sounded, as an African American? This is stereotypical com commentary. Well, how would you describe it? It to sounded a person? as if he used it every day. It rolled off his mouth, kind of like when you first heard the Access Hollywood tape. You yeah. would never imagine he talked that way. It just kind of rolled off of his tongue. But what's more disturbing well, is Donald Trump. That's amazing that you heard that. Did it's amazing that for two years these folks have been trying to reach out to me, and I guess I was in denial. I certainly didn't want to engage with people who I thought was trying to bring Trump down, and after. You know, I closed the book. I had an opportunity to go out there and to meet with him. And he's terrified, but he also thinks that he's doing a good service to save this country from a president who clearly doesn't care about African Americans. When do you think they'll drop, drop this tape publicly? I have no idea. And I am not involved with the drop of this tape. I just had an opportunity to verify that it was, in fact, Donald Trump on the tape using these derogatory terms. Did you hear any, any, any Semitic, anti Jewish community comments? You know, Bill Pruitt said that those things were included in the tape. The tape that I heard had quite a few things that he said. I didn't hear the anti-Semitic thing. Okay. Let me ask you about the, um, about the birtherism. That was a big issue with me on this show. That was. I, you know, and then I want to read in your book, you write, during boardroom outtakes on The Apprentice, Donald Trump to talked about Obama often. He hated him. He never explained why, but now I believe it was because Obama was black. And back in 2011, when he first flirted with a presidential run, Donald Trump embraced and promoted the right-wing conspiracy theory that President Obama was not born in the U.S. Let's watch that in action. I want to know. If he has a birth certificate, he should release it. All I want to do is see this guy's birth certificate. If he weren't lying, why wouldn't he just solve it? And I, w I wish he would, because... If he doesn't, it's one of the greatest scams in the history of politics and in the history period. Our current president came out of nowhere. Came out of nowhere. In fact, I'll go a step further. The people that went to school with him, they don't even know, they never saw him. They don't know who he is. <laughs> Crazy. Ramaros, in your book, Unhinged, which is coming out tomorrow, you t called him on this. Mm -hmm. And what did he say, as an Afri again, as an African woman, and he's looking at you, he's, and you said to him, what you say to him about this birther thing? Well, the first thing he said was that the Hillary Clinton people started the birther movement, Omarosa. You're so naive. They started it. This is who started it. And then he said it was just political, that he was just going after him because it was political, not because of his race. But I don't believe that to be true. And one of the things... At the time, did you believe it? 
at the time, he said it was politically motivated, it's not personal, and he started making these assertions that Hillary Clinton started it. And I just kind of stepped back. I wanted to see, in fact, if they started mm -hmm. the birther movement. I took it all kind of at face value. But now that I know what I know about him, he was certainly going after him because of his race. George Wallace, I would, what bugs me about what you said, I do disagree with one thing. When a politician uses race negatively, mm -hmm. he's a racist. Yeah. And, and you say, you, 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 did you accept the idea it was just politics, he was playing a number? I wanted to give him the benefit of the doubt. Like I said, I had a blind spot for Donald Trump, yeah. but he continued it in a very, very derogatory way. And as I've seen today, just having him call me out of my name, calling me a lowlife, say that I'm not no. intelligent. This is what he, do, what, this is what he does when it comes to African Americans. America. Maxine, Maxine Waters, he did the same thing to her, so low, low IQ. Was... He gets very specific about it. Absolutely. Particularly with African Americans, he thinks that we're all stupid. Do you think he believes that? I think so. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.